Hey, curious minds, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're diving deep into the science behind that thing you've been pondering. You know that overhanging question or problem that's been lingering in your thoughts. Fear not, we've got your back. In this video, we're unraveling the science behind overthinking and sharing five tips on how to solve it. But before we jump into the fascinating world of cognitive exploration, make sure to hit that like button to show some love, subscribe for more enlightening content, and ring the notification bell to stay in the know. If you find these tips helpful, share this video with your friends who might be in need of some mental clarity. Let's help each other grow. Now, let's kick things off with a question. What's your go-to method for tackling overthinking? Drop your wisdom in the comments below, and let's create a space for open discussion. All right, my fellow thinkers, it's time to unlock the mysteries of the mind and find solutions to that overbearing thing that's been on your mind. Buckle up and let the journey to mental tranquility begin. Number one, understanding the brain's role in overthinking. Let's take a simple look at why we overthink. Our brains are amazing, but they can be a bit tricky. There's a part called the prefrontal cortex. It's like the decision-making and problem-solving boss. When this boss works too hard, we end up with overthinking. Imagine your brain is like an orchestra, and the prefrontal cortex is the conductor. For overthinkers, the conductor gets a bit too excited, making the orchestra play the same tune over and over. This happens because of chemicals like dopamine and serotonin, which influence our thoughts. Understanding this helps us see why overthinking happens. It's not because we're bad thinkers. It's more like our brain's conductor needs a break. Knowing how the brain works lets us find ways to manage overthinking. It's like learning the steps to a dance. Once you know them, you can lead in a different direction. This knowledge also helps us be kinder to ourselves. Overthinking isn't just about our choices. It's about how our brain's conductor gets carried away. By understanding this, we can take steps to calm the orchestra and have a healthier relationship with our thoughts, promoting a happy and balanced mind. Number two, the role of neurotransmitters. Now, let's talk about neurotransmitters. They're like messengers in our brain. Think of them as tiny mail carriers delivering important messages. Two key players here are serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin helps regulate our mood. If we don't have enough serotonin, it can lead to feelings of anxiety and constant thinking, which is part of overthinking. It's like when you feel a bit low or worried, serotonin might be playing a role. Dopamine is like our brain's reward system. It makes us feel good when we accomplish something. But if it's too much, it can make us overthink about every little thing, worrying if we're doing things right or wrong. Understanding these messengers helps us see that overthinking might not just be about our thoughts. It could be influenced by these tiny messengers. Imagine them as traffic lights. Sometimes they go haywire, and that's when we overthink. Knowing this allows us to explore ways to balance these messengers, like engaging in activities that boost serotonin or finding a healthy balance in achieving our goals without overwhelming our brain with too much dopamine. It's like finding the right mix for a happy and well-functioning brain traffic system. Number three, cognitive behavioral techniques. All right, let's dive into some practical ways to tackle overthinking. We're going to explore techniques from cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. It's like having a toolkit to fix up our thoughts. First up, we have identifying and challenging negative thought patterns. Think of it as spotting weeds in a garden. We need to identify the negative thoughts, the weeds, and challenge them. Are they based on facts, or are they just worries? Next, setting realistic goals is like drawing a road map. We often set unrealistically high standards for ourselves, leading to overthinking. CBT teaches us to set achievable goals step by step, so we're not overwhelmed. Then comes reframing perceptions. Imagine looking at a painting from a different angle. It can change how you see it. Similarly, CBT helps us look at situations from different perspectives, breaking the cycle of overthinking. These techniques are like a superhero toolkit for our minds, 
They're backed by evidence and empower us to reshape our thinking habits. So, when the overthinking villain shows up, we've got the tools to take it down and create a healthier thought environment. Number 4. Mindfulness and Meditation Now let's talk about some powerful tools in our overthinking fighting arsenal. Mindfulness and Meditation Think of mindfulness as a mental superhero that brings attention to the present moment. It's like pressing a pause button on those racing thoughts. By doing this, we disrupt the cycle of overthinking. Mindfulness also teaches us to be non-judgmental observers of our thoughts. Imagine sitting by a river and watching leaves float by without picking each one up. That's non-judgmental awareness. We can observe our thoughts without getting all tangled up in them. And here's where meditation steps in. It's like a workout for our minds. Regular meditation sessions help reshape how we relate to our thoughts. It's not about stopping thoughts. It's about changing our perspective on them. So think of mindfulness and meditation as your mental gym equipment. They help you build strength in staying present and breaking free from the overthinking loop. Just like physical exercise is good for the body, mindfulness and meditation are like a workout for your mind. Number five, the power of positive distractions. Let's delve into a straightforward yet incredibly effective strategy for combating overthinking, the power of positive distractions. Imagine overthinking as a never-ending movie playing on repeat in your mind, a storyline that can be exhausting and unproductive. Now, picture positive distractions as your remote control, allowing you to hit pause on that repetitive movie and switch to a different, more enjoyable channel. Engaging in activities that bring you joy can be a game changer in this mental switch. Think about what you love to do. Whether it's immersing yourself in a hobby, taking a leisurely walk, breaking a sweat through exercise, or spending quality time with people who bring a smile to your face. These activities serve as a mental reset button, diverting your focus away from the relentless thoughts that accompany overthinking. It's akin to taking a refreshing break to savor a happy moment, effectively interrupting the cycle of overthinking. Positive distractions work like mental magic. Not only do they provide a much-needed break from overthinking, but they also contribute to cultivating a more positive and balanced mental state. So, the next time your mind starts playing that repetitive movie of overthinking, grab your remote control, hit pause, and switch to the channel of joy. It's a simple yet powerful technique to keep overthinking in check and infuse your mental landscape with positivity. Strategic Decision-Making Techniques Let's dive into strategic decision-making techniques. A fancy term for breaking big problems into smaller, more manageable parts. Imagine you have a giant puzzle in front of you. Instead of stressing about putting the whole puzzle together at once, you take it step by step. Each piece represents a smaller part of the puzzle, making the overall task less overwhelming. In the same way, strategic decision-making involves breaking down complex issues into bite-sized steps. This methodical approach helps us avoid feeling swamped by the enormity of a problem. It's like tackling one puzzle piece at a time, making the entire process more manageable. By using strategic decision-making techniques, you not only improve your problem-solving skills, but also reduce the tendency to overthink. It's a smart way to approach challenges, allowing you to navigate complexities without getting lost in a web of over-analyzing thoughts. So, the next time you face a daunting decision, break it down into smaller, actionable steps. It's a strategic move to keep overthinking at bay. There you have it a journey into the science behind overthinking and practical tips to navigate its challenges. If you found these insights helpful, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts or strategies in the comments, and subscribe for more content aimed at enhancing mental well-being. Until next time, remember, understanding the science of our minds is the first step toward mastering them. Thanks for joining us on this exploration into the realm of overthinking.